Let's bring in author and Middle East affairs expert Saab Shath, who joins us from Belfast to shed more light on this. Well, Saab Shath, it's not uh, too much of a surprise about Iraq being behind uh, some of the violence. Uh, I'm sorry, Saudi Arabia being behind some of the violence in Iraq. But as to the extent of it, uh, I'm curious, uh, the major question that comes about, is Saudi Arabia doing this on its own or is it doing it with the knowledge of the United States or are they working together on this uh, 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 violence incurred not only in Iraq but also many of these al ghadi related groups to of course have their destination to be Syria? Uh you're right to question that, since uh, it would appear uh, like uh, the State Department of the United States of America have no clue about that, but definitely Pentagon and the CIA are partners in that. Saudi Arabia is sponsoring sectarian incitement in Iraq, and it's have partners such Turkey and Israel as well, and other Emirates who are financing and training and supporting uh, the terror forces uh, in Iraq. Uh, they are planting their car pumps everywhere and attacking everywhere in Iraq. And they are behind the bloodshed, uh, which is uh, taking the country from the north to the south. Uh, they are using their money and influence uh, in the media as well the Saudis, to promote sectarianism in Iraq. They want to destabilize Iraq and make sure it is weak and divided so Iraq can become under their feudalist control. Uh, I'll give you an example here. Tariq al-Hashimi, the Iraqi vice president who is on the run and protected by the Turks, uh, in uh, Istanbul, uh, came to Iraq on the back of an American occupation tank. Hashimi has left behind him so many men planted in the body of uh, the Iraqi government institution and army. And these people are uh, planning and carrying such uh, atrocities in Iraq. And uh, uh, the United Nations uh, uh, just recently said, in Iraq, uh, they revealed, uh, uh, I think it was on the month of August, uh, no, the month of July, 100, uh, one, uh, 1,057 Iraqi were killed and, 200 and uh, 2,326 wounded. That's in one month. So uh, we, we understand from these figures what the Wahhabi regime of Saudi Arabia uh, from the beginning were designed to do in the area when the British uh, built that uh, monstrous system in Saudi Arabia. Uh, they are causing all of these sectarian and religious troubles in the area of the Saudis, and they're doing it, uh, we know, to serve their master. From the very beginning of the establishment of the kingdom, uh, the Saudis, uh, they brought bloodshed to the surrounding countries. Uh, and in total alliance with these Zionists and the Americans and Muslim, uh, some other Western uh, powers. Uh, they, uh, they brought the mayhem in Yemen in the 60s and uh, Egypt as well, caused the Egyptian defeat of the uh, war of 1967. Uh, they helped the Jordanian in destroying the Palestinian resistance movement in Jordan in 1970. Uh, they helped the, uh, in instigating the civil war in Lebanon as well with the Israelis. Uh, they brought chaos in, uh, uh, to Iraq in the early 90s and before that when they persuaded Saddam to attack Iran uh, with the help of the United States of America. They turned Arabia as a big uh, sort of military base uh, for the United States of America to attack its neighbors. Uh, they brought a lot, a lot of disaster in the, uh, in the area. And they've been, uh, you know, like uh, uh, during the war of two, uh, 2006, when the Israelis launched their war in Lebanon and Hezbollah defeated them, everybody discovered uh, where Saudi Arabia stands in there. They were supporting openly the Zionist entity. And uh, lately, uh, we, we hear from uh, just uh, two points I want to make. One uh, U.S. Vice President Joe Biden uh, says in, in August uh, uh, his sympathy with the Iraqi Prime Minister for so many casualties of these uh, bombing causing Iraq. Uh, uh, and he emphasized that Al-Qaeda still represents the common enemy for both countries. While there is uh, uh, YouTube have videos for Hillary Clinton uh, uh, admitting that Al-Qaeda was built by the United States of America, financed by Saudi Arabia, and manned by Wahhabi terrorists, and called that is a great investment of the United States of America. Those people who cause all of this trouble in Iraq, and in Afghanistan, and in Syria, and Iran, 
They don't care what they leave behind uh, and uh, unless they achieve their, uh, their goals. That's, but we know now who is there from the region, leadership or countries to take a stand and to stop those people from destroying the lives of the Iraqis and the people in the region. Thank you very much for that. We appreciate it. Uh, Saab Shah talking to us there. He's author and Middle East affairs expert from Belfast. Thank you, Saab Shah.